So now, projected demonic energy. This is something that Christians don't understand. I remember when one of the very famous ministers started taking his his coat and he started whirling it around up in the air, shouting fire on it. And he threw the coat across the people and the people all fell out. Well, God called my attention to it. I've never seen it before. And I said, what am I watching here? And God said, watch and listen. And so I watched and he took his coat and he whirled it all around, swung it up in the air and threw it over the audience and a whole section of people fell out. And everybody was saying, wow, what a lot of power. You see, in other words, he had replaced the name of Jesus with the word fire. So he was operating under a different spirit, the spirit that we now know as Kundalini. And that spirit imitates uh, the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. So all of those preachers and all of the Christians that was watching this man demonstrate all of this power thought that they were watching the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, they were actually watching another power operate right in their midst, and they were receiving that other power into their vessel. And so um, the same thing happens whenever you ignorantly handle this technology, uh, discoveries, if you want to call them, if you're not very wise about your own personal self and you want to stay healthy, you will be very careful about technology, your computer. For instance, look at with the little knowledge that I have. So now the projected energy, the projected... See, he was taking his coat, twirling it around, and throwing it, screaming fire. And then you saw the result of what he was doing. And what it was is an energy went with that coat, a supernatural spiritual energy, and everybody fell out in that section. So it was a spiritual energy. But you see, in the church in Christianity, every power that we use is a power that is given to us by the Holy Spirit. Our power doesn't come from us devising mantras or words or the word fire or the word energy or any of those kind of things. When we pray We pray in the name of Jesus, and Jesus is the source of the power. And Jesus is sitting at the right hand of God the Father. And when we speak from heaven, he transfers the power and the anointing, and the Holy Spirit anoints us, and the power comes forth. The power doesn't belong to me as a minister, Dr. Pat Holliday, the power comes from the source of Jesus Christ sitting at the right hand of the Father with, with his hand on all the power and energy of the universe. That's our power. So this projected power that they're using in technology is a projected power that they use in witchcraft. It's a projected power, for instance, that a a witch or a wizard uses, and it just simply works this way. The projected power works by the demonic force working 
with the, the witch or the wizard. And when they speak like this, like the word of fire, and they sling the object, the demons are clung to the object, are clinging to the object, and the demonic energy as it passes over the people slays them under the power as a whole group of people. That's how it works. And the same thing works with the technological power of projected power that they're sitting, wherever they're sitting in their studio. And remember, Satan is the god of the air, right? So they are projecting the demonic energy through the portals of the computer or the television or the games or uh, these uh, technical things that they've invented. And it comes through the portal at you. Now, some people that can see into the spiritual realm, for instance, they can see some of these beings coming through the, the television or the computer. I see them at times. Dr. Sabrina has seen them. Bill's seen them. Other people have seen them that uh, have spiritual eyes to see. And they look like little flies when they come through the computer, for instance. The computer has a portal on it. And I've actually seen these little flies on the other side of the screen crawling around and I have seen their bellies. I've seen them fly out from the portal at me and I cover myself with the blood of Jesus and they just go back in. So you have to you have to be protected in order to survive some of this stuff. Amen. So 